Hi, it's Samantha Alford here from Inbound Add-ons. I just thought I'd do a quick video for how to send SMS uh, text messages from HubSpot with our Inbound SMS add-on. Uh, so when we talk about SMS, uh, there are some countries that don't use the term SMS, which is um, a short or an acronym for short messaging service. It's basically the term that's used for text messaging. Uh, so when I use the term SMS, it's predominantly uh, interchangeable with the term text messaging. So there are basically two ways to send text messages from HubSpot using our inbound SMS add-on. Uh, the first way is via workflows so that you can send messages either in bulk or as people progress through an automated workflow. And the second way is through the uh, contact record and uh, I'll show you how to do both. So I'm actually first going to go into the workflows. When you sign up for inbound SMS, you get two workflows automatically populated within your application. So the first is the sample SMS message workflow, and the second is the sample send contact instant text message. And this second one is actually the one that powers the ability to send individual text messages uh, from the contact record. So I'm going to go into this one first, which is the sample SMS message workflow. And basically, uh, there's just uh, three components to being able to send an SMS anytime you want to do that within a workflow. Essentially, you've got your enrollment criteria, which is the same for any HubSpot uh, workflow. So determining how you actually want people to come into this workflow. So in this case, um, I've got the, <coughs> the person is enrolling because they're a member of a list, but you could have they're enrolling because they're filled in a form or uh, there's a contact property that has been set, whatever you choose. So let's get down to the crux of actually sending the text message. So the three components are, there's an SMS text message property, which is a custom property we populate into your application when you sign up for inbound SMS. That property needs to contain the text message that you actually want to send. So you need to set that property in the workflow first. So you set a contact property, uh, set the SMS text message property, and then you can put in there exactly what you want to um, send as the text message. Now we've actually extended our application to be able to include personalization in these text messages. Uh, it's something that no one else can really do, which I'm excited about. Uh, so to do that, basically you need the internal um, property name from HubSpot, which in this case is first name, and you need to surround that with squiggly brackets. So braces or squiggly brackets, however you do it. Uh, now you only need a single squiggly bracket around it. So in this case, we want it to say, hi, first name. It might be, hi, Samantha. We can't wait, wait to welcome you oops, to our health club. Uh, I, I did this for a, uh, a demo for a health club that, we were, that we're working with. Um, and again, you can put, uh, we can't wait to welcome you to our location um, of club. So that might be uh, the member is a location of the Sydney health club, for example versus someone who's a member of the Melbourne Health Club um, or New York Health Club. So that custom property would actually be populated in the text message as the person comes through this workflow. So, and then we also have the ability to add uh, personalization in terms of dates. So what we do with dates is we say, open squiggly bracket, the actual internal property name. And we also need to add underscore Unix after the internal property name. And the reason for that is that when HubSpot sends the information through to our system, it sends um, properties with a date type um, uh, of property. They, they send that as a Unix um, timestamp, which is just a number. And our system needs to know to interpret that number as an actual date. And that underscore Unix tells our system to do that. So. You can, you can send very personalised messages with our system. Uh, any, any contact property or custom contact property can be included in uh, the messages themselves. So basically you set up what you want to send and then what you need to do is trigger a webhook. So basically you select the trigger a webhook action from the workflows and you type in the workflow, uh, the, the webhook there that we have. It needs to be a post method. So sometimes when you actually um, trigger a webhook, it'll automatically default to a get. You need to change that to a post. And then you basically put in the webhook URL that will send you uh, when you sign up. So you don't need to use authentication, you just click save. 
And then once you've done that, you also need to clear the contact property SMS text message. And the reason for that is that one of the other um, workflows that we use for sending messages from the contact record relies on that uh, SMS text message being clear in order for the other workflow to fire. So there's basically three steps. Set the contact property, trigger the webhook to send it to our system to send the text message, and then clear the contact property. And you can use those three steps anywhere in your workflows. If you've chosen in this workflow to send an email first, uh, you could insert an email here, wait, have a delay in there, and if they haven't opened the email within two days, then send the text message. So you can use these as many times as you like within your workflows uh, and, uh, and at any time in the same way you use any other action within the workflow. So that's how to actually um, send the workflows, send the text messages via the workflows. Now I just want to show you quickly how to send them via the uh, contact record. Now on the right hand side here you can see my actual mobile phone. Uh, so um, you'll see the text message come up here and see my replies and so on. So you can see how it actually interacts when your messages are sent. Um, now when you sign up, we also populate your app with uh, a number of custom properties. So I already mentioned the SMS text message property and there's a couple of others. So what we recommend is that you go into, your, into an about card and you uh, go into view all properties and you put those properties onto the about card so that you can send easily from a person's contact record. So I'm just going to type in here SMS uh, and you'll find that there's a new pr uh, property group called Inbound SMS. Now you need to put the, in, the SMS text message, add to about, and you want to put the um, send text message now uh, property as well, add to about. And then I also recommend that you put the SMS reply property. So that's another one that we put in there. You can use that um, to create automation based on their replies from your workflow. So I'm going to add that to about as well. So I'll go back to this uh, contact record for our dummy contact here. And uh, now what you'll see is at the, uh, at the bottom of their contact record, you can see all of these messages. Now one important point about how our text messages work is they actually work off the mobile phone number field. So I might actually also just pop that in there so that I can make sure that the mobile phone number is always populated when I send these individual texts. And that's right down the bottom there. So that's, it's close to where I need to send all of this information. Okay, so now that we've got those properties into the About card, we can start sending and receiving uh, text messages on an individual basis as well. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, in the SMS text message, I'm going to put the content of the text I actually want to send. So hi Mark, oops, we can't wait to see you at Inbound. And send text message now is yes. As soon as I press save, that message will now then come back through to our system uh, and uh, you'll see on the right hand side here on my mobile that that message will come through to this mobile uh, which is the mobile identified in the, um, in the mobile phone number field. And so there that message is now. So um, one thing that uh, you can see is that Basically this timeline has already refreshed with that message in here and I can see that because I can see the date and time sent uh, and that's a UTC time. Uh, we're in Australia so we're 10 hours ahead of UTC so you can see my clock time here is 10.17 and you can see the UTC time is 0017. So that's the message that's just come through. Uh, so it comes through pretty quickly. Now what we want to do also is Mark might want to actually reply to us so I'm going to go into that message and say uh, I am looking forward to it as well. What time and where shall we meet? Question mark. And uh, that message you will also see. Now you'll notice if you look in my top right hand corner here, a message will come in an email comes in. So basically in this case I have my settings set when you sign up you can choose to send your reply notifications either to a dedicated uh, email address so a single dedicated email address or to the HubSpot contact owner. You can also choose to send it to both 
And you can see these, these emails coming into my inbox now, letting me know that I've received a text message from Mark, uh, his phone number and email and what the, um, what the message contains. Now also, if I just refresh this timeline here, you can see that that message received has appeared on the timeline. So all messages sent and received, uh, regardless of whether they're sent uh, via the workflows or by the individual contact record here, um, are actually uh, recorded in the timeline. So that's one of the benefits of our service. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an overview of how the inbound SMS works. Uh, we have uh, quite a number of countries on inbound SMS now. The automatic sign up is for Australia, UK and the US but if your country isn't among those three uh, then f uh, please uh, reach out to us via support at inboundaddons.com uh, and we can get your country, the country that you want to send text messages set up. We can also send now to multiple countries from a single HubSpot instance uh, that does require some setup on our part and a small fee uh, but just reach out to us and uh, let us know if you're interested in those services. Uh, one of the other things that we have recently uh, set up for another client as well in terms of customization is uh, we've been able to actually send text messages to the uh, HubSpot contact owner um, so in some cases you want to send when a, when a um, an action happens on the contact record, you want to send a text message to the contact owner, uh, we can also set that up as a customization for a small fee as well. So there's all sorts of things that we can do to extend the capability of the system, uh, but in terms of what it does out of the box, that gives you a bit of a, an idea. Uh, if you've got any ideas or, um, or would like some additional functionality, just reach out and let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, well, have a great day.